my name is Xavier, and welcome to the most tactically challenging, the emergent story driving, and all around fun inducing mission in the game. The Rendezvous. Uh, brought to you by Sophia Scott. Uh, we've got also Avery Hammerstein. Uh, back over here, we have Roman Young, we have Michael Sanford, and Grayson Gallant. I don't have any idea who any of these people are. They must have all been auto-recruited or whatever from the, the Haven. However, that's the cool thing about Rendezvous. Some of these people might come out of this mission... Well, some of them might not come out of the mission at all, but some of them might come out heroes. You never quite can tell with these Rendezvous. Most of the time you can, though, actually. They're, they're kind of boring when you have a full squad like this, but... Ooh. Okay, so we have Laser Sten. I've got a Laser Shotgun. I've got uh, a regular shotgun a regular rifle and another laser stun gun. So I got two stun guns, two shotguns, basically. And yeah, all right, well, this is fairly interesting. Let's go scouting here with Avery. Moving out. Kind of hoping something super awesome comes out of this. We'll see in a second. Uh, you know what, though? I'm going to play it super aggressive because that way it's more likely that something crazy will happen and it'll be a little bit more fun, plus it'll save a little bit of time. And right after this mission, I've got probably many wiles of strategy. There's no other missions currently set up, nothing infiltrating or anything like that. Uh, unless I... Unless, was there something infiltrating? No. I think there's actually nothing going on in the strategic map. So we got to find a mission, infiltrate, scan, all that good stuff. And then, maybe, I'll do another episode. If this one's bore, or, uh, short and boring, I probably will try to. Okay, these guys are moving up. Oh, hello. I can see the other faces right here. Alright, this, this actually will probably be pretty fun then, because we're going to have a ginormous brawl on our hands. Uh... Very soon. Maybe even right now if I just want to shoot, guys. The question is, I would like to activate with a grenade. Can I do that? And the answer is no. I'm one tile short of being able to do that. I could move up a little bit. Could move over here. That might get us where we need to go. Maybe. Could also move up there and throw the grenade up and over. But then that faces is going to be just out of swipe range. But we're going to activate everything on the map at once if I do this. Okay, let's... let's... Did I just see two more civilians and a civilian here? Is that three civilians? Uh, okay, hold the phone, guys. Let's, uh, let's do anything other than fight these guys. Uh, yeah, because this, this literally could be the death of everyone if I activate four faceless and a whole bunch of guys all at the same time. Sure, rendezvous are easy, but only if you're not a complete idiot about them, which currently I might be if I fight these things. So we'll back up a little bit. I think I'll just probably hang out. Uh, I would really wish there was some more cover on these rocks, but I guess they're... I guess I just really don't have any options. I'll come up on the low ground, then. Up on the low ground, over there to the right. Looks good. Sophia, Scott, you stay forward. Grayson, you come over here to that rock as well. I guess we're gonna probably wait till this pod patrols back here. The other pod will probably be stationary the entire time. Sophia will be our point and make sure the other pod isn't moving. Keeps an eye on this pod. Oh! Interesting. They're coming towards me. You know what, though? Here's my thinking. Let's just let them come towards me. We'll run back over here with Sophia. Fantastic. Uh, you know what? We may even want to move Josh. We'll see. Josh, by the way, lived exactly zero episodes of season two. Zero episodes. Maybe I should engage these guys, guys over here. That wouldn't be a bad idea, to be entirely honest. All right, we're just going to wait a little bit. Okay, no. Actually, whoa. They're coming way back there? That is so weird. Okay, I'm just going to keep waiting, because I'm, I'm betting they're going to turn around and come out in front of me now. Yep, that's exactly what they did. Here they come. I'm going to engage them as soon as they come over to this location, which should be... Well, you know what? I'm just going to edit back until whenever they walk over here, because I'm not going to move. It's way too dangerous. There's way too many faces here, it seems like. Okay, here we go. They're all right in front of us. So the plan is throw a grenade, kill them all, maybe? We'll even use this laser uh, Avery SMG here. Oh, beautiful. All right, guys, bam! Let's go for it. Open up with a nice grenade from Avery. Hit for one, four, and three. That is perfect, because I'm here for corpses, and that's going to give me corpses. Dragon! Uh, what's going on now? They move into these kind of weird positions. My number one concern... I remember if I was over here before that I could indeed see those other guys. I think I can see one civilian from here. So if I want to kill this guy uh, back in that corner, we're probably going to have to do it with an SMG somehow. Uh, and that's going to mean... Nope, Grayson actually has a shotgun. That's not going to work for us so much. Can't quite get a flank. Who's my other SMG user? I know it was Avery. Oh, it's way down here with Sof Sophia. Sophia. Hmm. If 
Fascinating. All right, maybe I'll just grenade that Grenadier. I don't really care so much about one trooper corpse. I do want to make sure that we survive this, though. Let's get our uh, basic shotgun down here with Roman Young. We won't see these guys. We won't activate them, but we will get 100%. Boom, do for trooper, a down. Nice job, Roman. It, wow, crit for seven. That's insane. Nice. Perception as well. Also, very good. I'm thinking here, how do I kill this there drone? Probably with a laser... Uh, what is it? Shotgun? Yeah, okay. 95%. Go for it. Was this Grayson? Nice. Fantastic. We're chewing these guys apart. Grayson Gallant. Yes, it was. We have one more guy over here, and my thinking is there's no safe way to deal with him. I could move up here and probably just stand there. I could throw a grenade. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the grenade kill. I think it's the smartest, safest thing. Everything's already on alert already anyway. Oh, we lost some loot. That's the only unfortunate side effect of this. But you know what? Let's move Josh over there, and let's move Sophia over here. So far, so good. I'm liking this. We're going to go on Overwatch. Everything's going to activate, transform, and such. We got one regular trooper, one faceless, and one gunner, and two more transforms. So it's going to be three faceless total. I could have sworn there was another faceless off to the right. Like right here. That wasn't these guys. Look like they had like a suit on or something. Maybe I'm wrong? Maybe this is the infinite, infamous thing where there's like three faceless or something? Either way, there's three faceless right now. This is going to be serious business. Because that's a lot of HP where the guys to chew through. A lot of HP of guys to chew through. Like, a lot. All right, we can move up here and not get any shots with Josh. We can move there and get no shots. I want the faces to come to us, and then we can shoot it uh, with the uh, shotguns in the face. But, honestly, I'm in a really bad position now that I look at this map. There's not a whole lot that I can do here. I um, I don't think I can even kill one of these faceless, to be entirely honest, with where I am and the positioning I have and what's going on. So here's what we're going to do instead. We're not even going to try. We're not even going to try. Avery, move on back. Grab this loot. We're going to fall back, get up on the hill here, and we'll let these guys come to us, and then, then maybe something good will come of it. Maybe. We'll see. But yeah, definitely everyone fall back. High cover, high cover. Make sure the faceless can't swipe you, and let's we can figure that out by doing preview movement. We can see that it can move here. Okay, from where we are, I think it can swipe one, two. I don't know if it can actually hit that or not. I forget. I think the tile, it's a two-tile swipe. But regardless, I think it will be safe to come around there. So we'll go to this location. Fantastic. Take a shot. Well, probably not worth it. Am I? Well, you know what? Well, 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 well. Why don't I do a flashbang? No, I might need those flashbangs, actually. Well, then against a gunner. Let's flashbang the gunner. We'll flashbang the faceless. Fantastic. He'll have to double move right up to us. Everyone else, Overwatch. Overwatch. I hope this is a good strategy here. I hope. We'll see in just a second as they come in. But I'm really worried. We're going to have to chew through one faceless completely. Probably do like a retreat around like in a back quarter circle or something. We're being area suppressed here pretty heavily. Uh, that's Josh's back, apparently. I think that was Grayson swinging a miss. Josh looks like also swinging a miss on faceless number one. Uh, was that Avery again? I can't remember exactly. Yes, nice. Hit for four. 33%. Fantastic. Faceless is in the perfect position. Trooper's going to take a shot here. This is so dangerous. It's only a 2% miss, but we only had 3 HP there, and even a graze would have killed us. Was that Avery? No, it was Sophia. Right. Sophia's the bald one. Avery's the one with, like, the ponytail. All right. Well, this is actually mildly interesting. Uh, how am I going to handle this, though? Who's suppressed? Looks like we have two people suppressed. I could move up here with Grayson. Let's do that. He has the laser SMG. Oh, let's lay into this faceless. 70%. Boom! Oh, God. This is how heroes are born, guy. <laughs> I got the faceless look the opposite direction. He's like, I don't know what's going on. 76% uh, here. Roman, it's so dangerous to leave you here, but I'm going to go for it. Nice. Even being suppressed. Should have automatically reloaded. Fantastic. Hit for four. Now, we have got to kill this faceless right now. It's not like if and or but. Maybe someday. It's right now. That is awful, 44% there, but we're being suppressed. Nothing I can do about it. I would like to use a smoke here if possible. Looks like Avery does have a smoke, so maybe I should use Sophia. I could move her up here for a better shot, but honestly, is that going to be within range? I don't know where the other faceless are. I assume they moved up, so I'm probably just going to sit here and take this 56 and pray for luck. Wow. All right, well, if we can't hit one faceless... We're not going to win the game. It's as simple as that. Uh, I think we could come back here with Josh into the open. Those guys couldn't hit us. And then we'll have elevation, but we'll probably lose a little bit of weapon range. Yeah, weapon range plus four for elevation plus ten. It's not really worth it. This is actually super bad. 
Maybe I should just go for, like, explosion and then have Avery move up, like, right here and then shoot the faces in the face. I think we have to do that, actually. All right, Avery, move on up. No smoke for us, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully, Roman, you don't die a horrific death. 71% with 20 grays. That's not going to be good enough. I can't risk this. I've got to go for a grenade. Let's go for it, Josh. Thin this guy out like your grenadier of yesteryear, as they say. Because that's what you were supposed to be in Season 2. Anyway, 71% with 20 grays. Avery. Nice. Thank the heavens. It took my entire squad to kill one of these things. One of them. Also, why is Michael here with action points, but he can't overwatch? He can only hunker. Because he's suppressed, I suppose? Please, Roman, don't die a horrific death when these guys come up. Oh, did I actually flashbang the trooper instead of the gunner? I think I misread that. Alright, gunner goes in overwatch, which is great. Trooper moves up into kind of an annoying space, to be honest. He's gonna shoot it. Sophia, 23 with 20. Miss. Where the heck are the other faces, though, guys? Can we move up here? We can. Let's get Josh up there and see what's going on. Why, why are they not attacking me? I thought they would be here doing something or something. They don't seem to be doing anything. And they just keep spamming me with grenades. That are, are not grenades, but shots that I can't do anything about. Uh, can we hit this guy here with a grenade? Maybe. Let's move up here with Grayson. Hopefully there's not faces over there. They don't seem to be doing anything for some reason. We'll use Grayson's grenade to hopefully destroy some cover here and soften up this trooper, not destroying his corpse. Fantastic. And, of course, no cover destroyed, though, so not really that fantastic, to be honest. We do have an overwatch to deal with, but I can come back here and get, like, a low cover shot with Avery. Which is probably better, and then maybe that gunner might move up and shoot her with 6 HP. Oh my god, this is horrific. Let's go for it. 13 with 20 grays, Avery. Nice! That's how heroes are born right there. That's how heroes are born. Meanwhile, Roman, you know what I want to do with you, actually? Someone's got to come up here. Let's have Sophia do it. Have her run up, grab this loot. She has the SMG, so she's probably, like, the least valuable member of the squad to go in Overwatch. We'll Overwatch with Josh, though. You know what, Roman, we're going to hunker down with you. Uh, we'll Overwatch here with Michael, and that's the end of the turn. Where the heck are these faceless? I n oh, there they are. Luckily, they just gave me a bunch of time by doing nothing. Josh, I think he hit. Yeah, wow, for five. Good job, Josh. Uh... Is the second one coming over? Yes, it is. Same tile, same time. This is going to be difficult. Remember, the first time we had one faces walk up to us, we could barely kill it with the whole squad. Now we have two. Okay, well, here's my plan. I do have a shotgun here, and I could move into their face and shoot them. I have another shotgun over here. Same deal. I can move over here, open that door with grace, and shoot them. So I want to soften them up with everyone else. I think Michael's going to be my backup with a flashbang in case we can't kill them. Which means Sophia is going to move up with her regular SMG, not use it, and instead throw a frag grenade on both of them, softening them both up. I want to ideally not blow up the walls here because I want to use these as a line of sight blocker against the gunner. Fantastic. Hit the guy in the back for five, and we also hit up here for two. That's very good. Now, Avery, do you have any good abilities? No. We can pen, pen pop our reload, though. And from where you are, let's hope. 44 with 20 grays. Avery, second time's a charm. God, Avery is the hero of this mission thus far. I think she's like, big deal. Stop talking, I'm bored now. Uh, anyway, I'm pretty sure we have two shotguns. That should be enough to wreck this faceless. And we have a flashbang if it doesn't work. All right, let's do this. Let's move up here with Roman. Uh, great, let's ouvrir la porte. Fantastic. We'll grab this guy over here to Grayson. We'll come in. Guarantee we got a shot. Yes, we do. 95%. Let's go for it, Grayson. Lay into that faces his face. Whoa! 14% crit for 10. That changes everything. That changes everything. Can Josh move up to a tile where he can suppress that guy? The answer is no, he can't. But he can move up here and Overwatch. Wow. All right. Uh, from here, we have a 3% with Roman. What I'm thinking of doing is just throwing out a grenade. Deal with a little bit of damage. Knock away his Overwatch. Not that it really matters so much. More importantly, apply some red fog. It's only two points, but hey, it's more than zero. Oh, we can shoot through the door here with Michael now. Not that I particularly want to. I think I'll just go on Overwatch. And there we go. Gunner's going to move around to super annoying. Oh, my lord. Ah! Luckily, only a 14 or 19% graze with a 14% hit there. And we've got to finish this gunner up somehow right now. Actually, we don't really need to do that. I could just move up here and flashbang, and then next turn we can move up more. And we'll be good. All the corpses, all the loot, all the stuff. Just what I like to see. Let's move up here with Josh. Fantastic. 
Uh, Roman, I get. Oh! This is what I. This guy was here and he is in a suit. Who is this guy and what does he do? I think he's another faceless. I've seen this before where there's like a rogue third faceless on the map. Was that added in some patch or is that like a bug from a long time ago? I have no idea. Anyway, this being as it is, I'm concerned with this gunner one-shotting someone. So let's flashbang him. If it is a face, let's hope we can just bring a ton of damage. Uh, we can indeed suppress him as well. Great, now let's get really close here for next turn. With... Roman. We'll dash him right on up. And then otherwise, I think we're pretty much done here. Move up. Uh, Sophia, Overwatch, and uh, Michael. I don't know. Just you really do whatever you want. Who cares? Just, just do whatever you want. Whatever you want. Is that another faceless? What the heck's going on? It's gotta be. And this guy hunkers. Okay. Well. I'm trusting you here. Roman, move on up. And 100% boom. He's dead. There's that guy. He's down the street. That's it. And he's looking at... Yes, he is a faceless. He's a gloved faceless. What the heck? So this is going to be a four faceless run? Wait, one, two, three, three... There were seven rebels in the Haven before this, as I recall. So basically where this guy is, I don't think he can hit anyone. So we're probably free to just sit here and take shots. 44. Avery. God, Avery has hit every single shot. It's... Wow, for a five that time? All right. Josh, 47. I probably should have saved, like, a potential kill shot for him. I always forget to do that. Hit for four. Wow, we're doing, like, ridiculously good here. Let's move up a little bit with Grayson. I suppose, Michael, you can move up as well. You won't have a shot, but hey, you can Overwatch. It's fine. Overwatch. Um, I suppose Sophia could move up. We could finish it up with Sophia, I suppose. Sure, why not? 40%. Wow. Well, it's a flawless. Wait, no, it's not flawless. Oh, right. I got grazed there by the gunner. Never mind. How the heck are there that many faceless? There's just faceless everywhere. That mission could have gone horrendously wrong. If I had activated on that first pod when I saw them and I was in vision of that faceless, we would have been fighting one, two, three, four faceless, one, two, three, four advent and a drone all at the same time. And I actually had difficulty killing the first faceless. That could have been horrific. Uh, wow, it also took 18 minutes to play a rendezvous. It wasn't that bad. It was like a return to the roots, as they say. Well, let's go return to the strategy and actually sow some roots that grow into missions that we go do in, like, one second. Kios, our MVP player! I think Avery! She hit, like, every single shot, including that really clutch one on that faceless that could have killed everybody. You know, you think about it, one miss on one person. And it would have turned that mission, I mean, one swipe, one panic, one kill, one... I mean, just one single miss could have just... Look at her! Look at her face, too! Avery's incredible! She's so angry! Avery the angry Hammerstein. God, I want her in uh, my Total War campaign as, like, one of the leaders. I can just run around with a giant hammer, hammering things, looking like that. That would be awesome. In any event, what I was saying is, yeah, one single thing goes wrong, and that could have been a nightmare, but it wasn't. So, uh, Josh Goodwin, let's try to keep you alive this camp. Whoa, eight health? Eight health? Do you have a, a nano vest on? Maybe you do. Maybe that, even if you didn't, six health is insane. Or even if you did, six health is insane. Your defense is negative four, your dodge is four, aim is 60. Every time I don't go combatives, I regret it. You're probably not going to go suppression. You're probably going to go cooldown build. Center mass, eh, it's okay with cooldown build. It kind of helps with flush, but I think I'm going to keep you alive because you died last campaign. So combatives formidable for you. Bam. And that's all that. We got one perception, which is great. One Illyrium core, good. We got four faceless, three troopers, and a drone. Awesome. Super, super, super duper awesome. Alma's in here. No one else really to go into these things right now. And uh, that's basically it. 28 hours for the supply drop. And I probably, I think, wasn't Felipe in here? I have to go pick up Felipe. He died last campaign. He deserves retribution. And the campaign is, a, or not the campaign, the uh, the month is about to end. Is he in here? Yes, he is. Felipe. Oh, I need a technical anyway. Welcome to the squad. Bam. Go check out your skills here in the market. I'm getting a little bit low on the money, so. But I do have to replace Steph from whatever mission 
Uh, he died on recently. And Felipe is perfect. Wow. 16 mobility, 72. How do you get stats like this? You have high dodge, average defense, high hack. I think high will, high mobility, high aim. I mean, you must... What? Okay, fine. I guess. Let's go fire in the hole because of your super awesome aim. And Vegas Booms, a perfect replacement for Felipe. Fantastic. Now, let's go drum up a mission, shall we? I don't have any troop columns, do I? No. I did one recently. That's what I was thinking. I suppose the plan here is we just hang out in New India and we wait. And you know what? Actually, while I'm at the market, let's see if I can sell anything. What do they want? Uh, nothing I really particularly want to sell. I'm probably better off. Well, I could sell some sec toys, but what if they're on sale next month, right? Setting course for India. By next month, I mean 18 hours from now. If I can be quick about this, maybe I can go do another mission, like a legitimate mission. Uh, hold on. Mag has recovered from wounds. Samuel Baker recruited in Western U.S. and someone in East Asia. Over here, we're looking at... Wei Qian Chu? Maybe? I don't know. Something something like that. Western U.S. Wait a minute. We had seven, and now we have five. So even though I killed... That was just a rogue bonus faceless on the map. He didn't count towards the total. Huh. Weird. All right. There's the month. We lost $20 from uh, Faceless. We're not surprised by that. Christian Frey, Jorge Cucurello. How long do I have to wait here for my uh, thing to go away? We'll ignore this for now. Dark events. Let's take a look. What do we got? Counterintelligence sweep, alien cipher. Well, once those things are gone, I can actually do stuff. For now, though, I'm just going to screw around, do whatever POIs I can find, click on whatever clickies there are, because I'm not going to gather much intel. Oh! Oh, I forgot all about this. Yeah, great. We have our alloy plating and ablative armor. Fantastic. What's next? Probably nothing, because we're too poor. We gotta go sell some stuff, which reminds me. Let's go hit that market up again. This time we'll actually sell, like, all those sectoids, extra bonus sectoids and stuff that I don't particularly need. It's actually really good, that uh, ablative thing. We got plus one ablative basically on everybody, because I have 29 troopers, so I can make 29 of those advent things, or um, ablative things, rather. Advanced stock. Do I really need multiple of these? Probably not. Let's sell one. Oh, they're very interested in my PCS defense. Five defense is kind of a lot, though, but honestly, I think people can probably use other stuff for now, so we'll sell it for the $15. That's what they want this month, and... Wow, we got an elite laser sight, elite scope. I have to remember to use those things. Expanded magazines are actually pretty useful. I probably won't sell them. Basic hair triggers, I think I'm kind of over at this point. I'll probably want the advanced ones. La 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 self focuses always I don't think I really need two perceptions but whatever I'll keep it for now two scopes here we go sectoids you know what let's just sell four of them and the basic stocks will sell those and confirm awesome back in here proving grounds what do we want to do I kind of want to do battlefield medicine it's really cheap and I never oh oh no I already have a spark right yes I do incendiary grenades let's do that I think first and then, no, you know what? Let's do medicine for it. It's only two days. I think they were cheaper in the last patch. I can't remember how much they cost, but I'll find out. And this is five days. We'll queue that up as well. Uh, lastly, I wanted to go to take a look at Johnny Five here in the barracks because his tree got changed and the Wikipedia never got updated. So I was actually trying to figure out what I want to do with him when I level him up. Huh. I kind of definitely, almost certainly want to go strike with body shield and formidable. It sounds so fun. It sounds so fun. Like, it just sounds so fun. Yeah, probably. All right, now let's get out of this nonsense and go find a mission. Avenger plotting new course. All right. Back to India. Got 200 supplies, which means I can probably afford like a whole bunch of armor if I want it. But more importantly, we're just an hour or uh, two days away from Illyrium. So Ulm is done on quick study. Fantastic. And dead shot or ever vigilant. Honestly, well, she's got good aim. It wouldn't be necessarily terrible for her to have that. Ever vigilant. Can we just toss it in? It's like two days, right? Sure. Let's go for it. Looks good to me. And what well, scan? Uh-oh. Julian has recovered from wounds. Someone was recruited somewhere, and we have a one-day data tap. Operation Tamer Chain. 
This data tap is ridiculous. Light, moderate, 16, 17, 18 enemies, I think. Or is it 15, 16, 7? I can't remember. Uh, either way, I'm going to need a serious squad for this. This episode has been sort of short, so let's gear it up and to do it. And here's the squad. Is that resist these zealots? I also canceled Omar in trading. She was only training for two seconds anyway, so here she is, ready to rock and roll. Also, I need to give her a personal combat sim of the aim variety, believe it or not. Because she, since she has quick study, we'll give her the pistol perks. Uh, also, she has fire in the hole. This will help her shoot her accurates more rockily. More rockily? Shoot her accurates? I just say shoot her accurates more rockily. <laughs> I am a professional entertainer. Listen to my words, ye crowd, and rejoice. Anyway, we'll give her a scope. Uh, we'll give her a little bit of the old auto loader and expanded magazine. Fantastic. I'm not going to upgrade the mag uh, to the mag version of the SMG because we're probably like two weeks away from the coil guns, and there's so much better. So we're going to wait for that. Julian, let's give you a PCS as well now that we finally have some extra ones. I'm going to say agility. Let's keep our shinobis alive. Looks like a good idea to me. And then otherwise, yeah, we have all our PCSs are good, all our armors are good, all our weapons are mostly good. Danny could use like a better SMG, but frankly, I don't really want to make one. I mean, I can, I guess I could. He is, he does have Hunter's Instincts, right? And Shadow Strike. Oh, you know what? I'm going to build him. I'm going to build him one. Let's do it. What is it called? Like uh, Stutter Mag? We'll build one right there for him. I also can afford all manner of cool guy stuff like uh, Gremlins. And can I make some mag pistols? Yes, but no one can really use them right now. I could also make some armors if I wanted to. Exos are 60. And the Predators are 30. I probably should give a lot of people these things. Honestly. Or I could just do like Exos on everybody. But I am a little bit tight on the supplies. So maybe like a few Predators. Let's do like two more of those. Just, just fill in. <gasps> I could bring Johnny 5. But this is too serious of a mission, I think, for his first outing. There could be a lot of guys on this. Uh, for the Predators, who's most likely to take hits? Mag, of course, for sure. We'll give her to... Whoa! Mag actually looks pretty good there. I think we'll give Danny one as well. Oh, he looks actually semi-normal for once. Fantastic. And yeah, this this is this is looking good. I feel like I just did something, but I forgot about it. Right, I was going to build a gremlin. There's no... Oh, right, I did the gun here for not Julian. You right-click once. We'll go to Danny. We'll strip out his laser stun gun because he is kind of a shooter guy. Give him that thing. Fantastic. And uh, let's give him some pretty fun times, right? Like an elite laser sight. That sounds fun. He can shoot guys in the back for like four billion damage. Let's give him an expanded magazine, of course. And a auto loader. Awesome. Awesome possum. Let's roll. God, watching Zera do anything is always cinematic. All right, let me figure this out. So extremely light is 6 to 9. Very light would be 10, 11, 12. Light would be 13, 14, 15. And light moderate, which is what this is, is indeed 16, 17, and 18. So that means we're looking at like four pods of four probably. We need to come up here. I guarantee you there's something in this void. There's almost certainly something over here and almost definitely something back there in the left. Probably multiple things like here and there. So with that being the case, and because we have two concealments, I was very careful to bring two shinobis for this exact purpose. This is a great great reason to have someone like Danny here as well. Because he's uh, he's got Shadow Strike. He moves up, he shoots, bam, we go loud, and then we can use him. Meanwhile, Julian can run around and scout uh, after that. So we'll move him out here. What do we see? Nothing! Let's keep moving. I guarantee you there's something out there somewhere, but we don't see it. God, I should have gone battle scanners, I feel. Let's move up here now with Danny. Oh, there we go. Right over there on the right. Whoa! Whoa! What was that? Is that eight guys at least? And I could have sworn I additionally heard a mech over here? Well, hmm. They're on alert, so I'm thinking rockets ahoy, but I can't quite reach. Or, oh. Oh, boy. Well, I'm pretty sure no one's going to wander in from our back and spot us. So we have the opportunity to move up a little bit in Overwatch. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean very much. Let's move Alma up there. We're fine. All right. We could go loud with a rocket, or not a rocket, but rather a shot hitter from Fetter Day, but I don't like that idea. I'm very precarious. Like, it's very precarious to put them here because things could be moving this direction. So I want to be, like, as front, as 
close to this really as I can be. You know what? I'm probably going to put Faraday right next to me, which is all in all not like the worst place. We'll do that. Great. Um, let's get Cecilia to dash down here. Ever Vigilant Overwatch. Same deal with Zera. Dash EV Overwatch. And Mag will probably get you to run down. You know what? That's a little dangerous, though. You no, know we'll put you right around the corner here. Whatever you say. Fantastic. Now, all the rebels. Oh, we also have Zawadi here. Okay, let's move Zawadi back to this doorway. This is actually not bad. I don't mind this location, except I have one random rebel, Selma Uzman, up here on the roof. Let's move her back. This is kind of a nice little location. Don't trust these guys in the streets, that's for sure. Uh, can I grab you guys? Yeah, okay, let's come back here into that location. And back. Who is this? We have Yuan Yin. This guy has, like, long, like, kind of flumptuous black hair. And then we have Shiojian Tang. And Sulma Uzman. I remember at least uh, Shiojian. But that's about it. Let's go Overwatch with him. Uh, Alma, I really, really, really want you to go Overwatch. Pretty much everybody Overwatch, except, of course, my sharpshooters who are going to steady and steady. And Danny, we're just going to move you someplace so that you're very ready to get in there and, I don't know, Shadow Strike or something. Who knows? Great. Looks good. Overwatch. Another Overwatch back here. And an Overwatch right there. And a steady right here. All right. Hopefully... Not too much activates. I know these guys are going to move up. Oh! The, whoa! Triple Chrysalid Flanky Snake activated from behind. Didn't see that coming. There's a shot from Zera. Please shut down that snake's yellow alert action. That's all I really care about. Alma swing and a miss. Cecilia, I think. I can't, can't, couldn't tell. Too many things going on. These guys are perfectly grouped up for a rocket there. Oh, no! <laughs> Luckily, that flanky snake has a SMG, so he only had a 3% to hit Zera. That is literally exactly what I was worried about avoiding. Uh, I wanted, that's, why I was, that's why I didn't want to have my guys back here, so that these guys would come in and activate, and they'd be really close and shoot. Now, I feel like these guys aren't activated, but they're so close together, and this is just the perfect opportunity to grab Ulma and evaporate so many of them with a rocket. I realize, like, all these guys are here, but I don't want to give all these guys over there the opportunity to take actions. And one good play... This is like the best rocket of all time. I cannot not do this. Then again, the rocket's not perfect. Um, let's see where it's going to have to be. Maybe like sort of over there. All right, this looks pretty good. Alma. You know what? Let's do a little bit more to the left. Perfect. Right there. Rockets! Oh, we're going to activate on eight things even though there's four things behind us. Seven, nine, seven, six, eight, six. She just killed a sentry, grenadier, and trooper all by her onesies and wrecked the rest of these guys. Holy mother of heavens, that's fantastic. Look at this, 1 HP, 1 HP, 3 HP, and like another 1 HP. If we had like one grenade or, or like get, you know what would be great right here is a poison. I'm actually just now realizing poison grenades could be really helpful in situations like this. Just like 1, 1, 3, 1, we would literally kill three guys first. And then this guy would be, like, disabled and pretty bad. So lots of cool things could happen there. But, all that being the case, Danny does indeed have shots here. From concealment, no less. We also, over there, look at that, guys. 100% to hit, 100% to crit, 6 to 9. Danny, go for it! Go for it! Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hit him for 6, and there goes our conceal. It's going to be awesome when he gets the perk that allows him to shoot and then move or slice and then do something. I forget what, what that perk was. Uh, not light him up. Something. It's something. There's a perk that does something somewhere, I think. Maybe. All right, now. Need to start paying attention to all the guys on the map. Obviously, Faraday's over here can kill that guy. The Chrysalids, though, are the big threat to me right now. I think the plan is we're going to have to rapid target some of these guys. Uh, probably not that one. That's going to be easier. Let's go for the one in the back there. Bump that up from an 83 to, like, a more than 83. Uh, looks like 88. Go for it, Faraday. All you. Wreck that Chrysalid in the open. Awesome. Hit for nine? Now. Where do we go from here? I don't really feel like eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's still four more things at least. So, Wadi, can we have you open the door over here maybe and see what kind of shots you got? Yes. All right. This is very important. We got 100% on the Lancer, 100% on the Guardian, 84 on that Chrysalid, which is very interesting. You know what I want to do, though? I kind of want to do a dead eye on that 84% Chrysalid. But then it's only going to be a 74. But hey, we'd hit for 9 to 13. Maybe a better idea would go for a, a precision shot. Because then we'd have a 91 with a 46 to crit. That's still not very good, to be honest. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to have to figure this out in a second. 
Uh, what's more important right now is that I kill everything in front of us. And how the heck am I going to do that? Honestly, there's there's a little bit more here than I realized when I started off this turn. Well, I can kill that officer, but frankly, he's going to move and mark. Which means I probably shouldn't have used Danny. I wonder if fighting these guys was a smart move. Uh, I'm probably the best bet here to finish up this guy. 7 to 12, 90% to hit, 46 to crit. Chrysalid, a foodle toodle. Did I get him? Yes, I did. Awesome. That's actually really super important that that worked out in my favor right there. Uh, next up, we do have that uh, snake over there. Zera could maybe, if she ran into the open, or Cecilia, if she ran into the open, pop fortify both barrels away this chrysalid. But then she's going to be literally sitting there in the open, flanked by a flanky snake, and potentially activate even more stuff. We could go slice that flanky snake with Julian, which I think we're going to have to do. We're going to have to clean up, though, one more thing. This chrysalid right here, you know what? Mag could go up there and actually shut down either the chrysalid or the snake. You know what? Let's do that right now while I have the opportunity. We'll get Mag right on up. See if we activate more. There's definitely a pot of another pot of four. There could be two more pods of three, though. I want to see if we activate anything. We don't. Our chances of hitting these things are not great, but with stuns, we have an 80, 80, and an 85. Fascinates. I'm feeling that the smart move is we stun this chrysalid, but I'll find out in just a second. Uh, Zetter, what are your shots? 58, 54. Who's going to deal with these guys over here on the right is the question. Maybe the rebels can help out with that a little bit. Let's see. Let's see if Solma can move down and flank someone. Answer? Actually, yeah, she can move down and flank all of them. All right, let's go for it. Solma, get you on down there, friends. Get you on down there with your laser rifle. Let's contribute to the cause. What's more important? Engineer, Lancer, or Guardian? Well, probably I'm going to say the Lancer because it could run across the map and stab somebody. That Grenadier doesn't look too menacing. 61%, 12 grays. Selma, please. Nice. One less Lancer to deal with. Fantastic. Let's see what else the Rebels can do while I'm thinking about it here. While I have them on the brain. Can they move up to aggressive tiles? They can move here. Can we get any more? Yes, we can. How about over here? No flanks. How about here? Only a shot, but no flank. There's our only good shot. Shiojian Tang. Absolutely. Get on up there, friend. You also have Will to Survive, so that's actually not a terrible place for you to be. 67% on the uh, Engineer, not Grenadier. Beautiful. Just, God, I love it when rebels rebel. Like, it's just one of my favorite things throughout all of human history. I cannot get enough of it. If we move out here with Yuan Yin, we could throw maybe a flashbang or do an overwatch or something. Let's move them out and see what we can do. Our shots are pretty terrible. What about our flashbang? We can't hit that guy. You know what the plan is here? Let's just throw a grenade then. Uh, we'll hopefully kill this officer as a result of this grenade blowing up the vehicle, or we could just max roll the officer outright. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll figure it out in a second. Can I just put it, like, really right where I want it instead of not exactly? Eh. 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 How the... Did you guys look at... Like, how the hell does that hit nothing? Like, what? Where is it going? It's like grenade in the void. All right, whatever. Yan Yin. Okay, you didn't blow the car up. You didn't even start to blow the car up, but you did wound the officer. Hey, that's something, right? So, one more time now. Let's grab Zawadi. He's got a nice steady and ready shot from across the map. We've got 100% over there on that guy. Not bad. 84 over here. A combination with Mag could probably kill it, but that's also not fantastic. He's got a 76 on this guy and a 59 there. I'm feeling like he's the only one who can safely kill this M2 sentry. Unless we have good shots here. Nope, we've got no good shots there. What about with Cecilia? Nope, no good shots there either. Okay. So, yeah, here's the plan. Let's grab Mag. Let's toss up a body shield against the snake. Because it's very likely that snake is going to move out and shoot Mag. Uh, next, let's toss up an arc pulser here on this full health chrysalid. 80% Mag, please shut it down. Nice. Very awesome. I did not have the HP to chew through that right now. Or the damage to chew through its HP right now. Uh, however, standing where we are, we do have all manner of opportunity here. Although, I'm, if I keep standing here... Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to have to keep standing here. We can pop fortify if we need to. Actually, Cecilia doesn't need to keep standing here, but she's the only one who might be able to take out this thing. And then she could even overwatch with the second shot. Let's go for it. Light him up. 64%. Cecilia, take it down, please. Nice. One less. Wow. Critical hit, too, for who knows how much. That was only a 6% to crit there. We have a 36 over here and a 58 right there. 
Fascinating. Mm. I don't really need to, to lay into that one, though, is the thing. So my thinking is we just go for the Guardian and pray for luck, and we don't even really need to pop the Fortify, but if I don't use it now, when will I? Let's go for it. Let's try this 36 over here, and let's see, because I think I would rather have Zawadi. Oh, nice! She connected. Hit for eight, too. Yeah, I think I would rather have Zawadi come up here and shoot this guy, or he can't shoot the snake, right? I don't think... Yeah, he couldn't shoot the snake, so... Zetra now could, if we wanted to, dash up here, go on ever-vigilant Overwatch, or from where we are... She could really not do a whole lot else. All right, I think I will do that. Well, then again, Overwatch isn't going to work against those that are snakes. I can move around into the open and just shoot the snake. Julian could indeed come up here and slice that snake, but boy, I would really like to have my uh, concealment up, to be entirely honest. I'm feeling like the plan here is Zawadi actually has the opportunity here to 76 plus 14 execute this last M2 Guardian. Well, let's go for it indeed. Awesome, that's down. One less thing to worry about, getting like a lucky 2% crit for 10,000 damage or whatever. Interesting. Very interesting. If I move up here with Julian with a slice, we could activate another pod and we'd be in a world of hurt. I think allowing that snake to take a shot at Mag might be the smartest move. And Cecilia does have the fortify up, and so what can I do then? Can I move over here in this place? Yep, with Zera, perfect. And hopefully shut down that officer then. 65% with 13 grays. Well flanked. Nice. He's down as well. He's pretty happy about it. I think I will keep Julian's concealment up now. And you know what? Where am I going to go with Julian? Can I just run like all the way across the map? Like someplace out there. Figure out what's going on. Where is everything? Where's that last pod or pods of four, three? Oh, well, there they are. It's, oh, that's everything. One, two, three, four. It's a snake, a snake, both uh, snipey snakes. We have an M2 guardian again and a muton. And we're in some not great positions. This is the only thing that can really hurt us right now. It moves over and it does shoot at Alma. Luckily, only has a 3% with 8% to graze and hits her for just 2. That's amazing. 3% to hit 8 to graze and it actually connected for 2. Luckily, all these guys did not take yellow alert reaction shots, which is fantastic. Let's allow them to shoot that their uh, relay for a little bit, shall we? And also, I think Mag's the best bet here to murder this snake. Let's move on up. I don't know who that's going to... You know what? We'll do like a both battles on that with somebody. Here we go, Mag. 96% to hit, 64 to crit. Blue Snake, no longer blue. He's a bit yellow, it would seem. Critical hit for 11. Fantastic. Cecilia, can you take care of this doofer snake out here? Actually, from where you are, well, mm, yeah. Maybe if you ran out here, would anything be able to shoot you? If those flanky snakes are forced to move, the answer is no. So let's move you out there. And let's see if we can do this. 76, 76 again. Okay, well, this is kind of dicey. 76 plus 22 percent. Both battles. Nice. Execute. Full health. 14 oh, HP chrysalid. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Now, we are ages, ages of empires away from where we need to be. I also need to make sure I flank these guys. Julian, where are you? You're in there? Great. Muton is there. Other snake is there. That snake is not getting flanked unless we blow up his cover. There's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about this. But Julian can run all the way down here, guys. Uh, does not have Lone Wolf at present, but if I move, he won't be able to have the extra range to get the slice on that snake. I think we just have to go for this. We have to go for this. 78% Julian. Cross map. Slice and a dice. Rip that snake to pieces. Not that it really matters because he's just going to move and shoot. Or not shoot because he's a um, snipey snake. But Julian executes him nonetheless. Awesome. Crit for 11. Well, one less snake to deal with. The other ones, though, are what really worry me. Especially the Dufon. Like, I don't know what to do about that Dufon, where we are. Oh, hello. Faraday is a 35 on that snake and a 14 on the Dufon. Okay, what about me? Hey, I have a 36 on that snake and a 14 on the Dufon. Interesting. Should I use Faraday to double hollow target? Maybe. Or even hollow target steady would not be a bad idea. Maybe what we can do is use some grenades here. Yep. Shiojian Tang, if I were to move you over there, actually, where can I move you with high cover? Here. Wait, that you could also throw a grenade on that Dufon and shred. That's that's the important thing. And if you were, like, here, I'm not sure if you could quite do it. You would have to be one, two, three, four tiles to the right. So could I hit over there? Yes. And could I hit over... Okay, that'll actually work. Uh, so let's bring... Let's bring you up there. 
And I could also throw out a flashbang, but I don't think there's any chance of hitting both of them. Yeah, that doesn't it doesn't really seem all that useful to me. Let's instead blow up this Dufon's armor, and while we're at it, we'll blow up his desk, yeah, rendering him in the open, and maybe I can even get some sharpshooter exposed shots on him. Okay, nope, our grenade couldn't even blow up a simple shelf. That's too bad. However, we still have the opportunity here. Selma, you could move up. You could move up here. From there, I believe you could throw a grenade right through that window and hit that there Dufon. I believe, I believe. Soma, let's go do it. Let's go do it. God, these rebels are just rebelling like maniacs right now. Perfect grenade range right on that shelf. Maybe second time's a charm? Nope, invulnerable shelf. We cannot kill it. Stupid Dufon's completely shredded though and down to 8 out of 12 HP. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Uh, can I shoot the Dufon? Nope, still 14%. Anyone else could throw a grenade on that thing, please? Nope. Uh, could I get a flank on it? Nope. Could I move up and threaten to flank? Nope. Could I actually dash back here and flank this snake? Nope, he's in perfect corner cover from two directions. Okay. Well, Zawadi, what do you got? You got a 43 on snake, 34 back there, and 28. If This is assuming I leave you there. Might make sense to kill that snake. Or the Guardian, perchance, or to just get you out of there, because that Dufon's probably going to throw a grenade or something, and you're way too valuable to risk your life to do some kind of silly thing. So, meanwhile, I guess Cedra's just going to have to dash up and go on Overwatch. Not much to say about that. Uh, Danny, there's no place you can really get that's going to help out this turn, but next turn, so let's dash up there. Fantastic. Alma, honestly... I don't know what to tell you. You could command someone if you moved. Let's move up to there for the first move at least. Who could we command and what could come out of this? I have no idea. We could command Zera, but she's already going to go on Overwatch. We could command Danny. I don't think he could get any further, really. Or at least he couldn't get far enough. We could command Mag to not do anything. Oh, we can command Soma to not do anything, and that's about it. All right, well... I guess the plan, then, is a fatter day. We're not going to take out that Dufon unless... What is Danny's movement range? I don't know. There's no way he could get up there and do it. He, he could potentially throw a flashbang. From here, one, two, three tiles back, we could hit that thing. Maybe. Maybe I could flashbang him. Maybe. Well, let's do this first. Let's grab Fatterdate. Let's toss up the old hollow target on this snake, the Naja. All right, I'll come back to this in a second. This is really going to be up to me here. 47% cross map snake. 50 50 almost. Oh! Did you see that one? What? I not only hit him, but I 13% crit him. No more flanky snipe snake or whatever the heck. Flank snipe snipe snake. God, it's hard to say when you don't know what the hell you're saying. Awesome. Now we just have this one trooper to worry about. He's a pretty serious M2, though, so I am worried about him for sure. We could steady with Faraday, or alternatively, I could move. I don't know what I want to do. Maybe I should just grab Alma. I can't, like, launch a rocket or anything. There's really nothing she can do. But what she can do right now is we can command Danny and see if he can hit that guy with a flashbang. Maybe he can, maybe he can't. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll see. We're not going to use the, the command anyway, so it's not going to be mattering unless... Ah, fantastic. That was a great play. Anyway, what I was trying to say there is it's not going to matter unless... Uh, no, it's not going to matter, period. The command's not going to matter. We're going to kill these two guys, then the reinforcement's going to kill all of them because we're going to be ahead of the game, and then we're pretty much done, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, with that guy actually in that position, I'm wondering if the smart move is move out here with my rebels. Probably not. What, a, what should Zawadi do? We have a 37 back there. A 28. We, he can't throw a grenade. He can only take a shot. It's not going to be a great shot. I don't think Zawadi, though, really wants to take this kind of risk. God, it's so dicey. I don't know. Better day can only holo target the Muton. Zawadi, what's your chance of hitting the Muton? 28. Not enough. 37 over there is not enough. You know what? Let's actually pull Zawadi someplace more safe. Like, possibly even on the roof. Nope. Doesn't look good back here. He'll have shots on many things, it looks like, so we'll do that. Absolutely. Just get him out of the way. I want to make sure he's safe. Fantastic. I don't think I really desperately need the smoke right now. I'm not sure who I would even use it on. Then again, down here. You know what? Let's do that smoke, Danny. Because that sentry might shoot him. That's probably the best possible uh, thing for him to do. And we'll steady back here with Fatterday for the next turn. And then last but not least, Yuan Yin. I think what we'll do is move you up 
into a position where maybe next turn you can run up and shoot the muton or something and from there just hunker. Wow! That was a lot of talking for one turn. A lot of talking for one turn. Come on, guys. Let's see what you got. Muton's going to shoot the relay. That's fine by me. Sentry, you want to do the same thing? You want to do the same thing? Nope. You're going to move up pretty aggressively and you're going to... Yes! You're going to shoot the relay for three. Beautiful. Reinforcements haven't even changed color yet. Mag, can you go run that Overwatch? Can you go run that Overwatch, a police answer? Of course you can. That's what you were built to do. Running overwatches from sentries in the open. Don't care one bit. That's what I'm talking about. Now. Now the show is on the road. Let's get Julian over here. Slicing a dice. This guardian, 78%. We do have the lone wolf. Go for it, Julian. Show this sentry a thing or nine. Or, or I guess four. I guess you can 18% graze once in a while. Or was that a min roll? I guess I haven't even upgraded my swords yet, so... Uh, Danny, can you also get out there? No, you don't have the range, but you almost have the range. You know what would give you the range? An Oscar Mike. Who can give you an Oscar Mike? Ye old Alma. Good thing I pulled her out of duty. Or not duty, but uh, whatever the heck it was for this mission. I think we're going to kill everything right now, so let's just move up into the middle of the open here with Alma. And we're going to pop up Oscar Mike. Great. That's going to give Danny the opportunity to flash this guy over there. 69% once again. Hold on, we have the mobility to go all, all kinds of all over the place. Can I get Lone Wolf someplace? Yes! Let's come down here with Danny. Amazingly, pick up the Lone Wolf. Let's turn that 69 into a 79. Fantastic. Right in the open. We don't care. He's done. The Muton, I know I could go over there and combat him to lock him down, but we're going to be able to kill him probably with no issues. So, famous last words, they say. One autoloader. That's all we got from that guy. All right. Well, whatever. Now... All manner of rebels, let's get down here. Yuan Yin, let's shoot that Muton in the face with a basic SMG. Oh, whoa, before I do this, let's hit escape. Yep. And then let's come back to my sharpshooters because I may be able to hollow target them. Yep, better day can hollow target. Let's do that. I don't think he really wants to take a 38% shot. It doesn't look all that valuable to me. Fantastic. Now that we get that done, we'll toss up steady weapon. Uh, and then last but not least, let's get Yuan Yin and right in the face, 89% now. Yes, the Muton's like, stop! Stop hitting me, Yuan Yin! Stop it! Uh, but it's not gonna work out for him, I don't think. Now, one more one more person here, Xiaojian Tang. Move you up as close as you can get. Even a Graze, and we're in business, friends. We are in business. 87 with 10 to Graze. There we go. And we even grab our loot, which is a data cache and an Illyrium core. Wow. Uh... Interesting! So there were- I never even got to fight the reinforcements! Because we killed everything and the reinforcements never showed up. Also, flawless victory! That took some strategy. It took some strategy. I was really worried about that mission. And we had no concealments. I, I've noticed a trend that whenever I don't have concealment, the missions are awesome. Uh, there we- that, I had to take a huge wrist letter activating against eight guys while there were three chrysalids and a flanky snake at my back flanking us. I mean, to me, that just felt like every old day at the freaking donut shop when you're a fat old guy in Boston. But God, to all of you, it might have looked like an incredibly stupid move. But I don't think I would have got flawless if I didn't do that. Like, I really don't think I would have. That worked out. And I didn't really think it through either. I just did it. I mean, I, I kind of just felt, I sensed that I had the damage to kill everything and lock it all down. And I pretty much did. That one snake got, I think, one shot that grazed Alma, and that's about it. And that shot was actually really bad, too, because it was an SMG snake, and it was pretty far away. So that was like a 3 plus an 8% chance to do any damage at all. But yeah, that took some, like, thinking through, some, uh, some moving, some finagling, some rebels rebelling from all directions. Like, we fought to the left, we fought to the right. Things showed up. Also, a little bit of luck with this pot over here having no yellow alert reaction shots when they had like a 38 on all four of them. Uh, but yeah, I enjoyed that, despite the fact that I felt very low energy today. Just very, very low energy. Um, still, though, it was fun. Key All-Star MVP player, you know? I think it's gonna go to teamwork. Like, so am I, Shen. So am I. Everyone did everything. Like, there is no one person who carried the team. 
I don't think. And everyone did a lot of critical stuff. Like Faraday hitting those uh, chrysalids, me hitting the chrysalids, Zawadi executing that one guy standing in the open. He had like 100% chance to hit. Uh, Cecilia with the both barrels and like the various shots, the Overwatch shots on the chrysalids, getting them just low enough from Zera and also Cecilia. Uh, Julian slicing that guy at the end and not missing and also killing the snake. Uh, all the rebels taking down the mutons and all the guys in the back with like one HP. God, everyone did something, but no one did everything. Epic teamwork all around, I would think. Uh, Zera, are we finally getting to the realm of fortify on everyone? And the answer, of course. Absolutely, of course we are. Meanwhile, Fatter Day, you are a rapid target extraordinaire. And I pretty much always go Hunter's Instincts here. I've never seen much use for multi-targeting. I know it's a thing. I know you can do it. I know it's okay. But frankly, I like I like the, the shooting potential. And I just don't see multi-targeting ever really being like super necessary. Let's go for that. God, I can't believe we're already up to gunnery sergeants now. Mag also pulled out Overwatch and executed whatever the heck it was and shut down that chrysalid who was like really big dangerous thing there. What do we do with Mag now at this rate? Uh, I think hit and run is the idea. Because we're never really going to get, like, super close, and we're supposed to be doing rifles at some point. And so rifles give us the opportunity to shoot from long range with good aim, and then we can also follow it up with a stun and do all kinds of cool stuff like that. So at this point, I do need to actually get Mag a legitimate rifle. Legitimate, legitimate rifle. Items recovered. Sigh. Two autoloaders, one data cache, and one elitary import. Kind of lame. But hey, it was completely and utterly flawless and took no time whatsoever, at least on the strategy map. So let's toss Ulma back on in here for Ever Vigilant, as we were doing before. Fantastic. And at this point, we have one more uh, rebel here. Wait, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We probably have one more faceless here. So let's do another recruit so we can get up to 14 and call it a day. We'll call it a day. Or I could go all out trying to detect that Liberation 3. The problem is, well, you know what? I'm going to do it. Let's go all out. 13 Rebels on Intel, plus the Avenger. The problem is, of course, the counterintelligence sweep, but maybe we can power through it and get some luck. I don't know. Uh, for now, we just keep scanning. Oh, there's my Battlefield Medicine. Fantastic. I'm actually curious, how much do those cost now? Where is it? Engineering, uh, build items? Yes. Items. What the heck? Nano Meadow. Okay, so they're $10 and one Illyrium. That's actually... It's okay. I mean, I... Eh, yeah, I, I would like $5 no Illyrium, to be honest. Illyrium's kind of in short supply, like all campaign. So I just don't think that's necessary. Probably just $10. $10 by itself would have been fine. It would have been fine. Let's keep scanning. Uh, Kira Timofeyeva recruited to New Arctic. That's right here. All right, let's put you over on recruit then. More recruits, the merrier. And we have four hours for the felts. Let's go. Bam, welcome the felts, and there it is, Illyrium. Let's assign new research, and we all know what the research is going to be, don't we? Research of coil guns. Okay, hold the hold the phone here. So it's 21 days to finish this up. 100 supplies, 15, 15. I mean, that would be... How, when would I actually finish it? 21 days, leave anyway. I would finish it on July 29th. I would actually have coil guns. However, I would still need two more engineers to be able to build them. So that's going to be very expensive. They cost a lot. They have a lot of research, uh, uh, resource requirements. I can't really afford it, at least not right now. I mean, a month from now in August, when I have like another region liberated, will be way better off for supplies. So what I'm actually thinking here is I should spend just a little bit of time researching these data caches to get the intel to expand to a fourth place. Maybe even a fifth place if we dump a uh, gremlin into the the relay or whatever the heck it's called. The only unfortunate thing is that means I won't get coil guns in July. I really just want to have coil guns in July so I can claim I have coil guns in July. But you know what? Let's just make note of the fact I could have coil guns in July. And we'll move on to the data cache. And I won't quite have the coil guns in July. So it'll be fine. And now... We just keep scanning, I guess. Saij Wiseman's recovered from wounds. Here's a target. One day. Rescue VIP. Scientist intel package light. Ocelot Wrath, huh? Well, that's not going to happen so much. Professor Google contacted in East Asia and now available for recruitment. What am I doing here for, um... 
for my engineers. I got one person here and two down there. We're clearing out those alloys. All right. They're, they're almost done. All is going to be done in one hour. Bam. What did she get? I'm very excited. What did she get? Covert. You know, that is actually incredible. We could sneak her right up and she can burn an eight and then super rocket. Oh my lord, we can't not do that. It's only three days. Yes, yes, yes. Almost going to be super key all-star MVP player. Many times in the future. There we go, guys. That's the Liberation 3. Light, moderate, neutralized target in vehicle. We're looking at resistance contacts. That would be super awesome if I capture the guy. And also 29 intel. Again, super awesome. Operation Quintuple C, you say. Also, eight days, eight hours, even with counterintelligence sweep. I feel like it's just broken. It's just, just, I should not have been able to pull that kind of detection off unless I just rolled like a one out of one ten thousand billion or something. Unless also this, oh, it went away actually. Both it and the um, uh, cipher thing went away, which is very fascinating. All right. So I'm going to talk more about that in a minute if I can remember to do it. For now, though, let's go gear up this mission. And here's the squad. Zetra Zesty Zealots, brought to you by uh, actually Cecilia filling in for Zetra, mostly because she has the mag gun and I didn't want to swap them out. Uh, and Felipe's, Felipe's debut friends. He's coming in and he's coming in hot because we're going to get him an exosuit and we're also going to buy him a Gauntlet Mark II. Look at that glorious stuff right there. This is going to be amazing. Also, I want to grab one tracer round. Uh, so let's give Felipe this. Imagine just showing up. Wow, Felipe looks like a legitimate tiger. Also, let's give him a extra rocket. Fantastic. Let's give him that better gauntlet. Yeah, we're going to lay waste to this freaking map. We are going to lay waste to it. Let's see what we can give him for our PCSs here. Combat awareness, depth perception. You know what? Speed is not a bad idea in his case. I think we're going to give it our uh, perception, rather. Before I do that, let's just make sure everyone else has a PCS already. Yes, they do. All right, let's go for it. Let's go for it. And bam, aim. Awesome. Awesome McPossum. Now, here's the idea. So we give Cecilia this extra aim thing so she can actually shoot multiple times and hit multiple things. There's going to be faceless all over the place on this mission. I mean, all over the place. It's strength five. I'm going to anticipate like five faceless. We're also fighting like 16, 17, 18 guys. It's going to be like rocket, rocket, flamethrower, rocket, flamethrower, rocket, shoot, 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 uh, and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm thinking for me... With the extra slot here, we're going to go for nanoscale vest. Speaking of, I just now remembered, let's go all out into the alloy plating. One, two, three, blah, 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 blah. yeah, that many looks good. Let's replace pretty much everybody with one extra ablet of HP just in time. I do realize I probably should have gone battle scanners for this mission. I had completely forgotten about it. It would have, would have been very helpful. Uh, thinking about it now, obviously, going into a Liberation 3, or knowing a Liberation 3 was coming up on a high-strength region, I should have tried to get battle scanners. I just forgot about it. I just forgot about it, so we'll have to make do here. This is a serious squad going into a serious mission. I could give Felipe a laser sten gun, but I'm not sure. I could guess I can give him that one. Not sure whose that is. Not that it makes like that much difference. Uh, will Julian actually be combating here? Can we give him better armor? No, we're completely out. I could probably grab armor from other people. Uh, I might do that just for Julian this one time and one time only if I can find. So, yeah, like Mag has this predator armor. Let's cancel that off. I did want to bring Mag on this, but you can see I can't quite fit her by like eight hours. Uh, so let's give that Mag's armor over to Julian for once. I don't normally do that, but this time I will. Because there's a high likelihood we're going to get spotted with 8,000 faceless insectoids raising zombies and who knows what. Anyway, that's the squad. It's looking pretty freaking strong. We're going to have a lot to say when we get in there. Uh, let's, let's, let's... Let's roll. Why can't I bring myself to roll here? I feel like I'm missing something. I got too many medkits almost. I wonder if I should drop one out. Maybe get another smoke or something here on Saturday. I mean, we really don't need him to have that much. Or a flashbang. Flashbang? No, I'm going to go for smoke on him. Do we have anybody with a flashbang? No. Julian could maybe use one. But at the same time, you know what? Yes, let's give him one just in case. Great. We still have two med kits. We have a nano med kit actually on Alma and one on Fleet. But that'll be good. All right, let's roll. Sky Ranger deployed. Viper. Oh, I don't like Viper runs. Now. Everything is complete. We no longer need to have 13 people here. On, I guess we could keep 13 people on Intel here. 
Uh, over here, I think this is perfectly fine. Over here, though, we probably want to start going straight into Intel. We have a Strength 4 region. Yeah, it looks good. Let's, you know what? I think I'm just going to leave everybody on Intel there. We'll leave Lewis in there for now. Over in the Western US, yeah, 7 Strength. You know what? Let's just stick on full-on Recruit for like a couple more weeks. And that looks good to me. That looks good to me. Also, I have the ability to contact New Mexico now for 134 Intel or... I go to West Asia for the low, low price of 100. Either one I can't really afford, so we're just going to sit here for a little bit. See what we find. Probably more missions. Two days, 19 hours, smash and grab. Nope. Can't do that one. Another mission. Nine days, 13 hours, destroy relay. For this, we get 29 intel, which I kind of need. And then we get an intel package. However, Operation Euthanizing Raid. Are we euthanizing them or are they euthanizing us? And this is also light. And it's probably not going to go down by the time that I run it, unless we can... No, I don't think it's going to go down by the time I run it, for sure. Uh, I should probably gear it up, though, because 9 days, 13 hours is insane. Assuming I can find, like, a half-decent squad to send on it. And yes, I can, so I'm going to gear it up. And there's the squad. It's the Angry Albinals, accompanied by Danny, Azera, Matt, Victor, and Sean. Unfortunately, we're looking at mostly lasers here. We got laser, laser, mag, laser, mag... Uh, ballistic and a mag mag, but not the uh, hit-and-run rifle that I really want. We'll have to make do with it as it is. Uh, we don't really have a huge amount of resources right now to put into these weapons. Plus, this seven-person mission should be enough for this mission, I hope. Uh, but one thing I do want to do is come in and, of course, uh, spammy McSpams a lot on these guys. And everybody, everybody in the whole barracks gets an all-new shiny alloy plating. I thought about, br or briefly thought about doing this, like, between starting the mission and now. I'm sure someone really wanted to see me build those. It is kind of just, or not justifying, uh, satisfying, building, like, just dozens of things that give you plus one HP all around. And there we go. Uh, also, Sean, your low mobility, low health. I just, I just don't have any more nano scale. I'd like to give you one, but it looks like everyone else already has one, so that's pretty much the extent of where I can go with that. I have no more money to buy another one. I think this squad will be okay. Yeah, uh, eater, 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 as long as I'm smart about it. Mr. K can scout the whole time, Danny can go full combat mode, and we're off. Sky Ranger deployed. All right, well, that's pretty much all the missions that can possibly spawn here, so I guess I have no real reason to be on Intel. Why don't we hit up full supply and get a supply raid? We haven't had one of those in any time. I could have brought Zawadi, but you know what? I'm keeping him in here to detect that last... Uh, that I, I know there's going to be another. Let's go recruit, recruit. I know there's going to be another um, faceless in there. I don't really know that. I'm just saying that. But I think there's going to be another faceless in there. So I guess we just hang out in New Arctic now, looking for missions to spawn, because nothing else can spawn here, really. I guess we could find maybe a supply order to something incoming soon. But for now, we'll hang out here. Try to find some more missions. Lila Ross recruited to Haven in Western US. That's good. Let's go for more recruits. Fantastic. And we'll keep going. I don't want to have those guys on recruit for too long. Okay, there we go. 36 intel. How much research or how much intel do we have right now? Um, it's not telling me. Uh, there we go. We have 93. We need 100 to expand. So I also cannot afford to go for coil guns. We need 100 supplies. Let's just hit up that one more data cache. It's only four more days this time. Definitely have to sell something or... Yeah, let's go hit up the market really quick. Avengers and make sure I have 100 supplies on hand. I don't know what I'm going to need to sell for that. Probably something that I don't really want to, but... Advanced scope, advanced suppressor. No. You know what we really don't need right now is a billion troopers. Because I, I think I've got most people already having the things we need. So let's go sell a bunch of those. We still have a... Do we not have another data cache, do we? I thought I'd just use that researching another one. Or did I not and I flew here? I'm about to use that, I think, is what's going on. Basic auto loaders. We do have a fair amount. We have one more faceless corpse and we get a free autopsy. Okay, let's sell the Psy. We don't need that. Uh, we'll sell the sectoid corpse. I, I mean, I, eh, I kind of want it for Talon rounds, though. Guess we'll keep it for now. I would love to sell the faceless corpses, but I need one more for the free autopsy, so I can't quite do it. We can sell maybe a couple of lyrium cores, maybe a drone. 
I just need to drum up like a little, like 10 more dollars worth of stuff here. You know what? Let's sell a couple more troopers. There we go. Done. 97. Now we have enough to do the research in just a second. Speaking of research, no, we're already doing the data cache. Weird. Do I have a third one I didn't know about? I suppose I might. All right. I, I just got one. I just got one in that last mission, I think. Right. Hoopily doopily, guys. The They're up to 25% on that. Their projects. <laughs> wow. Emerald, Dreary, and Yuri all recover from wounds at the same time. And Sandiary Grenade is now done, guys. We're just in business so hard. It's ridiculous. Also, I forgot to put somebody in here when I pulled Alma out to go on uh, Liberation 3. Can we do something like... Ooh, Dreary could get Flashbanger. And as awesome as that sounds, I still think it's probably more smart to find someone... Ooh, Sprinter? <gasps> I love all these perks. Come on, guys. Let's go find this... Uh... Let's go find whoever's in the AWC here with Quick Study. So it's not you, not... Oh, wait. No, actually, it was Matt. Matt's a little bit lower, though. So Matt's one candidate. Who else has Quick... Oh, there we go. Hold on. Amaral has Quick Study. Okay, that wouldn't be bad. Amaral or Matt, it looks like. Or also Julian. Well, I think he's off on a mission. Alright, I think we I think it's either Matt or uh Amaral or Julian. Let's just toss somebody in. AWC, bam. Amaral's right here. I guess we'll do him first. Quick study. Great. And scan. There's our debris, $76. Carry on. Yes, we'll just dig out uh, the, um, the machinery because that gives us alloys, 23, sure. Actually, it might make more sense. Well, well, I guess we could build something on top of it later, but the power coil will give us elytrium crystals, which is probably more important because I know those uh, coil weapons or whatever take a ton of elytrium. So let's do this. Great. Scan! Come on, guys. When's the next mission? So many... Oh! Hey, there we go. Ver oh! An engineer! Yes! Operation Testy Decline. Uh, what is it telling me? What is it telling me? I need an engineer desperately for those, uh, coil guns. I definitely want an install package. Very light is not bad, but it's only four days, 18 hours. Haven infiltrators. They're sending faceless to our havens. Well, you know what that means. We're basically done recruiting then. Let's go all on... Uh, what is this? This is East Asia, so that's going to be supply. Uh, New India. You know what? You guys can go back to probably... How many missions do we have here? One, two, three. Neutralize, target, destroy, relay, and the liberation. How long until this is done? Seven hours. All right. You know what we're going to do here? Let's go like almost full on intel, to be honest. And I think we'll do a little bit of supply. Actually, you know what? No, let's go full on intel and maybe we can find like a supply rate there pretty soon or even another troop column. So we'll do that. And then in terms of over here, we had seven people recruiting. No, thank you. No, thank you one bit. So what do I even do over here? I, I don't really want to do missions in strength seven regions, but I think I will go full on intel there. Maybe we'll find a supply rate or troop column or something. Now, back to what I was talking about. These two missions are going to be a little while. I really want to get this one done, but it's a four man mission. And who are the four men that I could send? I could pull Zawadi out. We could send him along with Yuri. Ah, Deidre's only one day away. Zawadi, Yuri. I could probably bring Drigri and Hades. Okay, yep. Hold on, though. Hold on. Hold the phone. Let me think about this. Because Zawadi is like not... He's like a death from above sharpshooter. So a four-man mission. Doesn't sound very good. We get technical. Ranger with Amaral, Technical with Drigri, Hades. And then what? Razor? Yeah, I guess so. All right. By guess so, I mean I think it makes more sense to bring Zawadi than to bring Razor. So we'll do that. We'll, we'll gear up this mission. If I can find it. There we go. Oh, wait. No, I got to go kick uh, Amaral out of the tube again, unfortunately. I guess we'll put Matt in. Should have put him in there all along. Assuming Matt's even available right now, he is not available. All right, well, let's go do the mission, then I'll stick somebody in there. And here's the squad. Drigri, Yuri, Emeril, and Zawadi. Four days, 11 hours. Wow, this is going to be awesome. But first, first, I've got to do a few more of these. One, two, three. We'll deck everybody out here. Fantastic. Zawadi, you're in business. Emeril, you're in business. 
Uh, you already, you're in business, and I already had one on Trigri. Now, I have no more nanoscale armors, and I really, really, really want some. So I'm going to spend at least enough money to get these three guys, three more nanos. And so nanoscale vests are five supplies. One, two, three. That's not so bad. I realize I just sold exactly what I needed to make that uh, next mission work, but this will have to work just fine. Not the next mission, the next technology. So yeah, this is a ton of explosive power right here. Like an asinine amount of explosive power. Emerald still only has a laser rifle, but I think that's going to be okay. He's got the both battles, which is probably more likely to be useful in this scenario. So we'll leave him alone. And Zawadi, yeah, I'm a little uncomfortable sending him with just 6 HP and no nanoscale, but I don't think I really want to build one. And he may have to do quite a lot of moving, so I think that'll be fine. Hopefully we just get, like, set up some decent place and he goes to town. Speaking of going to town, advanced scope. How about an elite scope for Zawadi? Advanced stock, how about still an advanced stock? Autoloader, how about still that? All right, looks good. Everybody's off. Oh, wait a minute. This is exactly 100%. You know what? I bet it's fine, though. I could toss a suppressor on somebody. I think I have an extra one. Yeah, let's go um, advanced suppressor here on Yuri, and then I doubt either one of these guys is going to be shooting, like, anytime ever, so we're not going to worry about it so much. Although I could give Yuri a little bit more stuff. I mean, you know, why not? I got all these stuffs. Why not give him something? Sure, we'll give him that, and we'll get rid of the hair trigger, and we'll give him an expanded magazine. Awesome, off they go. Back to the AWC. And who are we going to put in here? I was going to bring Hades that last time, but you know what? I ended up not doing that. I also kicked Razor out because I just felt like straight out ridiculous damage was going to be the best thing in the universe. So why don't we just toss in Hades for suppression? No, that's not a good idea. How about Razor? Razor could do damn good ground. That's not a bad idea, but also not a fantastic one. Saeej, Case, Shredder, Fortify. Ooh, I love Fortify. I love Fortify. Everybody always get it. Go. And for the most part, we just scan here. I think Deidre's done in just a day or so being recovered. New target acquired. What is this? Six days, 11 hours. Oh, this is Liberation 1. But I can't. I just... I Can I do it? Actually, maybe. But I am scraping the bottom of the barrel here with, with troops. I've got one, two, three missions out. And I'm basically going to have just corporals. How long until Deidre's ready? One day. She would have to lead this up as like a troop training operation with Hades, Razor, Sai. I have to cancel him out, bring Kate. Yeah, we can actually do this, but I have to wait for Deidre to get done. So we're going to scan until that happens. Oh, that, she just got done right there. So did uh, Michael Sanford. Also hard target on some guys. How much time do we have left here? Five days, 18 hours. Let's go gear it up. And here's the squad. Deidre, Hades, Razor, and Johnny Five making his debut. We're going to over-infiltrate 120%, hopefully bring this down to extremely light if we get a little bit lucky. And then hopefully just barrel our way right on through the whole thing with Deidre shooting rockets. Also, we get guaranteed promotions on both Shinobis, which is awesome for leading their own squads in the future. And of course, the Johnny Five. Uh, the only problem is here, once again, we're very low on gear, like, all around. Let's go to armor, alloy plating, one, two, three. Yep, there goes all our alloys, almost completely evaporated. We have one to Hades. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Deidre's is over here. Fantastic. And then back to Razor. You're in business. We got 5 HP, 5 HP, 9 HP. That's nowhere near enough, I feel. I think we're going to go for a med kit there on Deidre. Also, I would love more nanoscale. I think uh, one of these two guys can scout. They both have basically... You know what? Well... I guess, uh, I guess Hades can be more the slicer dicer, right? Because he has Blade Master. Could we give him something that would help with that? Maybe speed? Yep, that looks pretty good to me. Otherwise, Johnny Five is pretty much just going completely stock because that's all he can do. I would kind of want to build... Let's do this. Let's give Razor the flashbang and let's come in and build... How much are these incendiary grenades? There are 10 supplies, one alien alloy, one elyrium quarter, and one officer corpse. All right, let's build one. And let's also build... Oh, I didn't want oh, I didn't want to build those. Whatever, I built them by mistake. Uh, either way, we're completely out of trooper corpses now. I wanted to build that. Great. Uh, so Razor will give you this because you're very likely to need it with only 7 HP. Deidre can probably survive without one, but we're going to give her one anyway. And by give her one anyway, I mean give her the incendiary grenade to really double down on the fact that she's going to go absolutely, completely crazy. Oh, wait, no, no. Razor, I did this wrong. 
Hold on. What am I? What the hell am I doing here? Okay, I want Razor to have the med kit. And I want Hades to have the nanoscale, because he's the one with the extra speed and blade of master who's going to go slicing and dicing. That's what I wanted. Okay, I just did that a little bit backwards. And otherwise, we're looking pretty good. I should probably buy another nanoscale just in case here for Deidre. It makes a lot of sense. One more nanoscale. I know I'm chewing. I have 142 supplies, actually. So we're fine, and there we go. This is a pretty good squad, I feel, for a Liberation 1 in a Strength 4 region that's very light. It'll be interesting, nonetheless. Can't say I've ever done a Shiv, like, Blade Master, Lone Wolf, Dual Shinobi, Rocketeer, Foreman, Lib 1, that's for sure. All right, finally, I feel like the episode can come to an end. I've been recording for 92 minutes. And frankly, when I started this episode, I was very, I felt, I just, I felt the drag of knowing this was going to be like a two hour episode because I, whenever that happens, I'm, I was starting on a uh, rendezvous and then I was going to do a second mission. There was a million missions that always need to pop up and get infiltrated. We did four infiltrations here, or did we even, no, we did four plus we did two missions. And there's just so much talking. It's so much. Apparently, Patrick Price is ready to roll. I'm not training anyone else in the GTS right now. Might be a little bit of a mistake, but I feel like I kind of need to reserve my money for the coil guns upcoming. And I also, since uh, Deidre was wounded for so long, we kind of have to wait for her to catch up uh, in recruiting all the low rank soldiers. Also, we get another... Oh, you know, I can guarantee you, Young Mei Huang, <laughs> just being now recruited... When I have nobody there, you know, I should actually maybe even take a Dario recruited young May. Guaranteed faceless. Guaranteed faceless, guys. May as well put him on supply, right? Uh, and let's scan up here. Okay, whatever this is, I can't do it. It's a five-day spanogram. I want to do it. I can't do it, though. Operation King Ninja. We're going to have to let something go, and that's going to be it. We're down to literally, like, Lance Corporals in ballistics right now. Can't do it. Whatever this is, it cannot be done. <gasps> a four-day troop column that I could boost to six days. Oh, kind of want to do that very badly. Kind, that would actually be awesome. We'd get a ton of corpses for that. It'd be super helpful. Here's it'll also bring the strength down to six, making them less likely to be able in, to invade East Asia. But in order to do that, I would have to a boost it probably, yeah, almost certainly boost it, and b, I'd have to also boost this mission and run it like right now. And kind of half the reason for doing this was to over infiltrate it. So then that I could I could cancel this relay. Who's on this? Uh, nah, I don't feel comfortable with it. It's, it's, I don't think the intel for doing that uh, troop column is is worth. It. Let's just keep scanning and end the episode. Nice data cache. Let's go to assign new research. Thirty eight intel. Fantastic. And let's of course do. Coil guns. I don't have 15 alloys anymore? Alright, I'm gonna have to render something, right? What gives alloys? I think it's drones? That I've already done the autopsy on. Disassemble drone one day, two alloys. I'm gonna, actually gonna need to disassemble, like, four of them. If I want to go that route. Or I could just do one mech. You know what? Let's just do the one mech. And then I'll do one drone. It's only gonna take, like, a matter of hours for that. Great. Probably that's going to delay my free mech autopsy if I haven't already done it. Another mission, a two-day, two-hour rescue VIP for the scientists. That's not happening. Let's go. Let's get our, our thing rendered here. Let's assign a new research. We're going to go for the drone this time around. Disassemble drone wreck for two alloys. Wonderful. All right, there it is. Assign some new research. And at long last, we're going to go for coil guns. Bam. The only problem here is I have zero alloys and eight illyrium remaining after all of that craziness. Now, something I should be doing with my 134 intel is expanding someplace, and I'm thinking a new haven in West Asia actually makes a ton of sense. Let's go do it right now. Commander, I don't need to be hanging out down here. Should have been doing this the whole time. This is what happens when you play for like two straight hours and don't shut up for two straight hours. It's hard to think. New target acquired. What is this? It's an eight-day troop call! <laughs> Oh my lord, they're coming out of the woodwork, guys. 
I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna have to do these other missions first. Let's scan a little bit here. We have Saij. Oh my god, and it's also a supply raid that I can even do. Operation Terrible Contagion. I can boost that to almost seven days. I can run that, I can run the troop column, I can do it all. I can have everything. But first, I've gotta get through this Liberation 3. And how many more hours until this is 11% to 100%, 100%. Now if I was gonna do that, that would bring us down to four days, let's say, with flying around and all that. We have exactly four days, boosted to six days. We could send a five-man mission to go do this. I think it'll be just fine. Let's just scan the 11 hours here so I can end the episode. We'll run this mission, hopefully we do it flawlessly, deploy the guys over here to run that mission with a boost. These guys come over here to run this troop column. And then I think we can infiltrate the network tower and it will even be like very low strength. And then even after that, we can open up this region probably at like strength one. Lots of stuff going on. Let's just scan to 100% though. Uh, Saij got four to five. Fantastic. Let's go take a look. What did he get after that? Guardian. All right, that's not too impressive. Who do I want to stick in here right now? Uh, Lucas, you're available. Let's go stay. Ooh, ooh, are you a grenadier? That is my favorite thing. Are you a high aim grenadier, Lucas? You are! Steady hands on Lucas. Oh, freaking beautiful. I, steady hands is like my favorite perk for grenadiers with high aim. Okay, we actually did already over infiltrate here to normal. We got lucky with our, in, our um, detection. So we're getting the 100% rate even at 96. Light moderates. I'm just going to do it now and save the extra five hours for the supply rate. So, whew, that's the end of that freaking one and hour, 40 minute mouthful. When's we returning? A Liberation 3 in India. Brought to you by this kind of good squad, but still, this is light moderate. This, this, this could be pretty serious. I really want to try to go for the capture, if at even remotely possible to get the extra resistance contact. That could make the whole campaign, to be honest. But uh, yeah, we'll see it in the future. For now, thanks for watching through this very, very draining episode. But I'm ex super excited about the next one, so hopefully that one's more uh, high energy. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Perfect, right there. Rockets, ahoy! We're gonna activate on eight things, even though there's four things behind us. Seven, nine, seven, six, eight, six. She just killed a sentry, grenadier, and trooper all by her onesies and wrecked the rest of these guys. Holy mother of heavens, that's fantastic. Look at this, one HP, one HP, three HP, and like another one HP.